Hey guys, my name's Cam Blackwood. I'm a London-based record producer and songwriter. I worked in the past with George Ezra, Tom Walker, Dua Lipa, um, Jack Savaretti, Frank Carter, The Rattlesnakes, uh, Alabama Three, uh, Billy Martin, lots of uh, British artists. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created um, the Krusty Bus preset for Studio Rack. I use a lot of programmed elements and I use a lot of live elements. And what I like to do is try and make them all combine into one sound. So if it's like a couple of shakers, a tambourine, and then some programmed hi-hats, and maybe a programmed snare or some claps or something, I like to tie them all together and put them in sort of one room so it sounds like an ensemble of people making a live performance. Um, so I've used some saturation, I've used some reverb, I've used some compression, I've used some different EQs. The first plugin I use is the Abbey Road Studios TG12345. I just love it. EQ's simple and great. The compressor's brilliant, really apparent, really aggressive, and the saturation is fantastic. For my first macro, I use the 12345. I'm just going to play you a before and after. Before. And this is with the crust on. Okay, you can see with the more I turn up, I'm adding some saturation and some of the compressor in there. I've also done a parallel split, which has got two reverbs on it. I've got two R-verbs. One is set with early reflections only, and one is set with reverb with a bit of a longer time. I've named them on the macros, room one and room two. So room one, before, and after. It just basically changes the mix. And then room two, after. Again, it just changes the mix of the second reverb. The last plugin that I used in this preset was the J37 tape emulator, saturator, delay. I love this just because it's so wonky sounding. On this, I've got repeat, which is like a slapback, and tape saturation, which just warms up everything up and makes it a bit more crusty sounding. If I just play before, And then with the delay in. I'll keep the delay in and I'll just do before and after with the saturator. With the saturator. You can see you don't need an awful lot of the saturator to start absolutely demolishing the sound. If I just show you how I do it over, I think this is some of the parts from George Ezra's shotgun. So I'll just show you how I make it sound good.
Well, I hope that was interesting and that inspired you to do some creative stuff with the awesome Studio Rats plugin from Waves. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.